say, what you really got behind what you, you have nothing. The seven sons of Sceva were dealing with a fiat theology. That was, that's what you see happens with a fiat theology. When you're, you've got some gift and you're operating, you're doing X, Y, and Z, but when a real devil say, hold on, you got gold backing, you got God backing you with whatever you said, ah, we, the, the, the Paul, the, the God of Paul, that's not going to be enough. All right, please sit down. I, I, I'm not even going. I don't even know where I'm at with my time. I ain't got my time going. I'm going to to just cut this short. But um, So that's the problem. And that's why, people of God, that is why the Antichrist is going to be able to come right in and run rampant. Because the Antichrist, even though it's a lie, he's going to come. They can say he's going to do signs and wonders. He's going to actually have more tangible things than a lot of these silly folks that are following these fiat doctrines. How you... I heard hearing people talk about now, talking about now we're gods, you know, which is actually not that far away from what the serpent told Eve in the first place. You go back to that, you know what, actually you're a god. You're a god, that's, that's what y'all saying now? And what's that back? No, I, I wanna, it's an existential feeling now. We're actually gods. Really? Didn't you have a cold last week? What kind of god has a cold? And, 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 and last month, remember you called out because you said you ate all that pizza all late and you had indigestion? What kind of God needs Pepto-Bismol? What? You a God? Don't you got student loans? What kind of God owes somebody else money? What? You a God? We're gods, actually. Why are you a God? Wait, I just, just, wait a minute. Okay, here's my question. If you a God, why are you still here? Go up to heaven or whatever heaven you believe in. Don't tell me this is your heaven on this earth. This is your reward here. This, if you a God, just get out of here. How you, what? You a God here on earth with nothing backing you up at all? You're just saying it? And that's why, listen, it's easy to deceive the deceived. Okay? And that's why when the Antichrist comes, they're going to fall like dominoes. See, because there's nothing backing you up. And he's going to show some signs and miracles. And they're going to be like, oh, oh, that is what it is. When really the God standard that Jesus tried to show y'all all this time is all you ever needed. But it was too constricting. There's too many rules. Oh, yeah, but Jesus, you don't understand how it is nowadays. And, you know, and now, you know, you got to be able to be inclusive with everybody now. Jesus, you don't understand. Jesus told you exactly how it was supposed to go. And now we've gone away from that. And look what happens anytime men go away from what was standard that was set. When we had that gold standard, how, how the same milk from the same cow that was 1955, they was charging 35 cent boys, now $7 a gallon down over at Smith's. That didn't make sense because men's hearts wanted to charge you more money because they want to inflate. The, see, that's what we do. If it is not God-backed, it is nothing. It is worth nothing. I hate to say that, but that's it. I said God back, not gift back. Gift back is not enough to last. It is not sustainable. Your gift is not sustainable to keep you. It'll make room for you. It'll bring you. It is not nothing to sustain yourself with. That's why I said that fiat, that fiat stuff, you can make up anything you want. Fine. But when it gets time to prove what is real, fiat will fall. So these fiat churches that are telling you everything that you want to hear to make you live the comfortable lifestyle you want to live with no repercussions, really, all right, okay. The Antichrist is going to come and blow that out the water. That's the thing about it, too, is that it's going to sound good. He's not going to fool everybody just talking death and destruction. All of these paper doctrines will fall and they will all run right to him because it's going to make sense to him. Like, oh, yeah, that's what, when really we've had this Bible, everything you need right there in that Bible.